Let's return to uh, two-tier policing. This is a very, very serious example of it. Uh, and uh, without further ado, let's go over to former Detective Chief Superintendent uh, with the Metropolitan Police, Kevin Hurley. Uh, thanks for joining us, Kev. Always a pleasure, Kevin. Always a pleasure. Uh, now, uh, this is a very serious case, I think. Now, back in July 2020, I remember it well, two famous uh, black British athletes were pulled up by the police. They were uh, uh, the uh, 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 Bianca Williams, uh, she's uh, one of our famous athletes, and also Ricardo Dos Santos. Uh, they were a partnership. They had their little baby, their three-year-old son, in the back seat in their Mercedes. They were pulled up by a couple of coppers who said they could smell cannabis, so it was a kind of a stop and a search thing. Uh, now, uh, all hell broke loose. This is racist, you know, just because they're black, you say they smell of cannabis. That's not true. These two coppers, uh, they were PCs, Jonathan Chapman and Sam Frank. Sam Frank, I think, is a, a lady. Uh, were sacked. Their jobs, gone. Their lives, ruined. Uh, now, they've appealed. And guess what? A disciplinary tribunal has now found uh, that they were not lying. In fact, the tribunal said it was irrational and inconsistent to suggest that two decent, dutiful, reliable officers would make this sort of thing up. They've been reinstated and uh, the tribunal has ordered that they are back paid to when they were dismissed. Now, so uh, outrageous that the, uh, the Independent Office for Police Conduct, as is its won't, immediately sided uh, against the coppers. They always side against coppers. So these two officers fired, their lives ruined, on a pack of lies. So they're now back in the police force, I assume. They've certainly been ordered to be. They're going to get their back pay. My question to you, Kev, is what happens to uh, Bianca Williams and Ricardo Dos Santos, who effectively have been found to have lied by this tribunal? You can't go around ruining people's lives on a pack of lies. What's going to happen to them? Well, nothing will happen to them. I mean, interesting enough, I suspect Bianca won't be driving around much because I read the other day online that she apparently got 18 penalty points, but that's a a, a separate uh, issue. Uh, I mean, really, those two people, other than that, De Santos, when he was stopped by the police, should not have driven off. And then when the police asked him to get out of the car, should have complied as should uh, Bianca Williams, because, you know, if the police stop you and you answer their questions and you comply, then a minute or two later, it's all over and you go on your way. So this all comes back to the perceptions that people um, of their particular heritage and background have of the police where they always think they're being picked on. The reality of it is, in that particular instant, this group of officers who are from the territorial support group who were deployed on specialist anti-crime measures in that area of London, essentially to stop people being stabbed to death or shot. Of course, this is something that affects, that mainly affects the black community because, of course, black males are 30 times more likely to be murdered in London than uh, white males. And indeed, I haven't done the stats, but black mummers are many, many times more likely to be crying about their sons being murdered or getting life imprisonment for murders. So I'm just putting a bit of context here around what the police are up to. Yeah. So these guys, these cops saw a car with blacked out windows, had no idea who was in it. They thought, let's have a little chat with them. They pulled the car over. As they approached it, the driver drove off. Um, so this immediately pricks up the thought to the police, what's going on here? Have we got a chase? Are these criminals? Are they going to hide drugs? Have they got weapons? They then stop. De Santos is not compliant in stepping out of the vehicle, and neither is Bianca Williams, and she makes a big hoo-ha about her baby. Of course, for police officers, they know that criminals will hide drugs or weapons, or worse, under babies. And of course, I'm not saying that Bianca Williams, is, who's got a wonderful uh, record, as far as I know, apart from a driving, um, <laughs> is at fault here. However, the real issue is neither, it's not Bianca Williams or Santos. He should have stopped. He's lucky he didn't get given penalty points for failing to stop.
Um, I can understand that his girlfriend was upset, so no problem there. The real fault here is with the then Commissioner of the Metropolitan Police, Cressida Dick, who immediately rolled over and apologised for the experiences of De Santos and Bianca Williams. They'd had to be put through the ordeal of being stopped and handcuffed and then the vehicle searched. What a shame. If they'd stopped like the rest of us would, that wouldn't have been a problem. We might not have liked it, but we'd have behaved ourselves. The next thing she did is she said, Commander, which is equivalent to the city she comes for, has to say someone who's responsible for all operations of the police on the streets of London, i.e. the work of 18,000 people, accompanied by a chief superintendent to hold their hand, and the chief superintendent is normally in charge of thousands of officers, to go and have whatever conversation they had. It would have been far better if the commissioner had actually not even gone on the telly and dealt with this, yeah. delegated one of her assistant commissioners, deputy assistant commissioners, come on the TV and say, the learning from this is that when you are stopped by the police, you don't drive off and create suspicion. And then having created suspicion, when the officers try to get you out of the vehicle, you get out and comply. Because by now, the officers are thinking they're dealing with a problem. Yeah. You cause the problem. And on this particular occasion, since we're now talking in public, Mr. Santos, you did commit the offence of failing to stop for police. But I don't want to be seen as vindictive. Uh, my officers uh, and you and I, you can have this warning on the Metropolitan Police. Don't do it again. Can, can we just That's the correct approach. Absolutely. Let, let's just remind ourselves of what the uh, Appeals Tribunal Chair, a guy called Damien Moore, said uh, in response uh, to this appeal. He said that these officers were dead... I'm quoting now, dedicated, hard-working and much-respected officers whose reputations had been ruined by the original findings. He went on to say both officers did not lie. Both officers will now be reinstated to the Met Police and they should receive back pay. Uh, so if they didn't lie, then uh, it looks to me as if Bianca Williams and Ricardo Dos Santos did. And if they did, if that is the case, then uh, they set out to ruin these coppers' lives. What will be the comeback to them? Well, I, I don't know they set out to ruin their, li their lives. I think they probably set out, assisted by Linford Christie, their coach. Um, and I know Linford Christie because I used to be responsible for that area and I know his family. And I'm not going to comment any further on some of his family members. Um, but you, um, you can interpret that comment. Yes, I will. Wish. Yeah, I've got however, that. <laughs> now, however, um, uh, they pushed this forward. Christie put it out on social media, and of course, understandably, in these litigious days, they thought there's a few quid to be ha had here. Um, and I don't blame them if that's what they want to do. I actually don't think uh, they personally uh, did anything wrong, other than fail to comply and really played up to use the police in parlance instead of quite calmly saying look we're really sorry yes what do you want thank you for what yes. you're doing and then the police go on um but the, the issue on this one is that the chair of the original um police complaints tribunal and the rest of that board one of whom was a superintendent i might add produced a very confused verdict where they said we don't believe two of the officers who said they smelled cannabis but we do believe another one that's right. Uh, they, that's the reality. Of what it's, I'm it's, I've got so to go now. What it is, yeah, go on. You know what? What was the competence of the judgment? By that well, it, it was ju it was just wrong, Kevin, and I think this case needs to be looked into very, very seriously. Got to go now, but good to talk to you.